Good morning my dear students this is Dr Sakshi Jain assistant professor in English SD Mahila Mahavidyalaya Hasi welcomes you all to my youtube channel today i will teach you first unit aristotle the poetics of paper 11th critical theory part 1 firstly i want to tell you about aristotle his life and works physician son born at stagyrus aristotle was born in 384 bc at stagyrus in macedonia his father nicomachus was the court physician to king amyntas ii of macedonia he became early acquainted with the king's youngest son philip who was the future successor of macedonia who later made aristotle tutor to his son and heir Alexander the Great from Plato's academy to the court of a ruler in 368 BC at the age of 17 Aristotle began the first phase of his career his guardian sent him to Athens the intellectual center of the world to complete his education he enrolled as member of Plato's academy at Athens where he stayed for the next 20 years on the death of plato in 348 bc his nephew succeeded him as the head of academy it appears that he was not a very intelligent man now aristotle withdrew to the essos near troy marries to the ruler's adopted daughter as tutor to alexander The second phase of his career may be said to begin when after 3 years in Lesbos passed in the study of biology Aristotle was invited by King Philip to his capital of Pella as a tutor to Alexander then only 13 or 14 mainly it seems in political science and in literature the founder of a school called Lyceum Aristotle returns to Athens after the death of Philip. Alexander succeeded to the kingship and prepared for his conquest. As Aristotle's work had finished, he returns to Athens, which he had not visited since the death of Plato. Now he set up his own school at a place called Lyceum. For the next 13 years he devoted his energy to his teaching and composing his philosophical treatises. He is said to have been given two kinds of the lectures. The more detailed discussion in the morning for an inner circle of advanced students and the popular discourses in the evening for the general body of the lovers of knowledge. Departure from Athens and death in 323 bc alexander suddenly died there was a general reaction against anything macedonian and what happened in the first year of his residence at calchis he complained of a stomach illness and died in 322 bc Aristotle's work we can classify the works of Aristotle under three headings the dialogues and other works of a popular character collections of facts and material from scientific treatment and systematic works Aristotle's systematic treatises may be grouped in several divisions logic in the logic we can read categories on interpretations prior analytics topics etc number 2 physical works physics on the heavens on generations psychological works on the soul on memory dreams etc works on natural history history of animals on the parts of animals on the movement of animals on the generation of animals on the progression of animals philosophical works metaphysics 
यूडेमेन एथिक्स मैग्ना मॉरेलिया पॉलिटिक्स डेट्रिक एंड पॉइटिक्स ऑल दीज कम्स अंडर द फिलोसफिकल वर्क्स द पॉइटिक्स इज एरिस्टोटल्स क्रिटिकल ड्यूटीज ऑन द क्राफ्ट ऑफ ड्रामा इट वॉज प्रोबेबली रिटर्न बिटवीन थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव बी सी एंड थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री बी सी डेट इज आफ्टर ही सेटल्ड इन एथेंस एंड बिफोर ही लेफ्ट इट स्कॉलर्स थिंक डेट इट वॉज प्रोबेबली रिटर्न इन थ्री थर्टी बी सी इट इज अ शॉर्ट वॉल्यूम ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स चैप्टर्स एंड फोर्टी फाइव पेजेस द पॉइटिक्स वॉज मोस्ट लाइकली प्रिजर्व इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स लेक्चर नोट्स द पॉइटिक्स वॉज रिटर्न partly in response to some of the issues raised by aristotle's teacher plato in his famous book the republic there are six parts of the poetics part 1 chapter 1 to 5 this part contains introductory remarks on poetry its classification into different kinds including tragedy and comedy the most important concept given here is that Imitation is the basis of all arts. Part two, chapter six to nineteen. These fourteen chapters are devoted to tragedy. Aristotle gives its definition and discusses it in various forms. Part third, chapters twenty two to twenty second. In the three chapters, Aristotle discusses poetic discussion. Part fourth, chapter twenty third. In this chapter Aristotle discusses narrative poetry and the tragedy. In part 5th chapters 24 and 26 comes. In these two chapters Aristotle describes briefly epic and has done its comparison with the tragedy. Part 6th only chapter 25th will come in the part 6th. Here Aristotle examines objections of the critics against the poetry and replies to these objections it is believed that some part of the poetics were lost this is the most important part which i am telling you about the poetics that is why the discussion of comedy and the epic is sketchy and incomplete the poetics is famous mainly for the aristotle's concept of mimesis or you can say imitation and for the discussion on tragedy and its plot one of the most difficult concept introduced in the poetics is catharsis scholars are still debating its actual meaning in the aristotle's text catharsis is most often defined as purgation of the emotions of pity and fear that occurs when we watch a tragedy what is actually involved in this purgation is not clear till yet let's start chapter by summary of the poetics written by aristotle in the chapter 1 we will discuss imitation imitation is common and unifying principle of all arts the basic principle of the poetics is that imitation is the common basis of all arts poetry comedy tragedy dancing music flute playing painting etc all are the modes of imitation in this respect there is a basic unity in all the arts aristotle concept of mimesis is higher than the plato's according to him imitation is not a mere mimicry or a copying of nature on the other hand it is a creative activity when the magician imitates a sound he does not imitate the superficial appearance but the passion of human soul imitation is a very common and unifying principle of all arts but the arts from one another differ in three ways as regards imitation i have given on the screen there are the three ways of the imitations how the different different arts differ from each other number 1 medium of imitation in the medium we will read color form and the sound and in the sound we will read language rhythm and melody second is the objects of imitation and third is the manner of imitation chapter 2 the objects of imitation tragedy and comedy as i have already told you in the chapter first 
arts from one another differ in three ways medium of imitation objects and manner we have already read medium of imitation now i will tell you objects of imitation object of the poetry are man in action poetry presents man as better or worse than they actually are so it is not a mere copying when man in action are presented as higher than they are the poet idealizes them which is the subject of a tragedy when they are presented as caricatures the comedy results poetry does not present the photographic reality it is concerned with possibilities it means poet uses his imagination while presenting man in action the manner of imitation in the poetry is the use of language this is the chapter 3 and the title is manner of imitation the poet may use the language in three different ways first he may use the narrative method throughout second he may use dramatic method in this method he assumes the characters speak and interact with the one another thirdly the poet may use the combination of both narrative method and the dramatic method the drama tragedy and comedy uses the dramatic method the epic uses the narrative method or a combination of the both narrative and dramatic chapter 4 origin and development of poetry according to aristotle poetry came out of the three instincts of the man the first is man's instinct to imitate man is by nature an imitator the second instinct is our pleasure which we get from a work of art thirdly we get pleasure from learning or knowing something according to aristotle there are two types of the poets the first are those who imitated noble actions they write tragedies or epics the second are the poets who imitated the actions of the trivial petty persons they write comedies chapter 5 definition of comedy epic and tragedy in this chapter aristotle discusses the subject matter of comedy and compares it with epic and tragedy according to him comedy represents the character of lower type who are worse than the average they are not morally bad but are ridiculous epic and tragedy represent serious actions of serious characters who are better than the average the epic uses narrative method and tragedy uses dramatic method the epic uses only one meter that is the heroic meter but the tragedy uses different meters such as words songs etc as compared to the tragedy the epic is much longer and its action is not limited in the tragedy the action limited to a single circuit of the sun the epic is superior to the tragedy it has all the ingredients of epic found in tragedy but there are not all the tragic ingredients in the epic i hope you all are able to understand part 1 chapters 1 to 5 of aristotle the poetics very well keep learning keep growing till the night we meet next in the next video thank you